Next is definitely a fan favorite of the series, the Texas Commemorative Half Dollar or the Texas Independence Centennial. It is a wonderful, wonderful addition to the commemorative half dollar journey of mine. Uh, it has everything you really kind of want on a United States coin right here on the front, being you have the nice full eagle. There's nothing cut off of it, no wings clipped, no decapitated head. This is the full eagle, and it has the symbolism of Texas, the star, which is just behind the eagle, and of course the end god we trust and the e pluribus unum. A wonderful iconic image right there on the front of the coin. Now the reverse is no less spectacular. If you look at it, it just has everything going for it. It's got so much artwork right there. Uh, remember the Alamo written here on the bottom. And of course you have the winged victory, uh, big time symbolism in like Mexican coinage. And you have uh, figures right here on both sides of the coin. And the entire reverse of the coin is just so busy and so wonderful to look at. Uh, one of my favorite things on a coin is when it's busy like that. And like the fields aren't just left wide open. I think this is just very artistic and very well done. Now my coin is a CAC uh, green bean. PCGS graded, Mint State 65. Pretty decent grade for this coin right here. It really does help show off the uh, beauty of the coin in that grade right there. So let me read a little bit about this from the Red Book of Coins. And it says, uh, the 1934 to 1938 Texas Independence Centennial. Uh, this issue commemorated the independence of Texas in 1836. The first of several dates was offered in 1934. The later dates were struck in all three mints. The models were prepared by Pompeo Capenni, and the reverse shows the kneeling figure of winged victory. And on each side, medallions with portraits of General Sam Houston and Stephen Austin, founders of the Republic and State of Texas. The large five-pointed star behind the eagle on the obverse carries out the lone star tradition. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I'll put this down just for a second because I'm going to show you that there are different uh, mints available for this. It's kind of a one of the larger uh, uh, coins in the series uh, because there are several different years and mints available right here. Um, so total distribution in 1934, you can see, was pretty large. And uh, there's some in the set. Uh, let's use an example of a 1938D. Uh, only 3,775 were made. And so that's a pretty rare coin if you really consider uh, just that one specific coin. Now, you know, my commemorative half dollar journey uh, is just basically only the typeset. So I'm not going to get every single mint mark that exists. So this right here does it for me for now um, until I decide just to go above and beyond and get every single one. But this is a great addition. Really happy. I think that if you are somebody who uh, doesn't want to collect the entire commemorative half dollar set. This is one of the ones that you're going to want to collect though, just because of the beauty and the iconic design here on this coin. So uh, definitely consider the Texas commemorative half dollar. It's definitely a beauty. Anyways, uh, let's do some more. Well, hello everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah.